On episode 235 of He Said, She Said Movie Reviews, we take a look at the movie Emily the Criminal. Welcome to He Said, She Said Movie Reviews. This is the podcast where a happily married couple with similar but different movie tastes take a quick, spoiler-free look at the movies, helping you make the right decision before your next movie. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm April. So we went out to Portland, Oregon to see the Oregon Film Museum and uh, to, to visit with our daughter. And while we were there, we saw two movies, Emily the Criminal and Fall. And this episode, of course, is about Emily the Criminal. And next episode will be about Fall. But we'll tell you all about it right after these two trailers. All right. Starting with Bros, which looks hilarious. Two men with commitment problems attempt a relationship. Release date, September 30th, 2022. Starring Luke McFarlane, Billy Etchner and Deborah Messing. This looks hilarious. I can't oh, wait to see it. I cannot wait. Second one was Pray for the Devil. A nun prepares to perform an exorcism and comes face to face with a demonic force with mysterious ties to her past. The release date's October 28th, 2022, starring Virginia Madsen, Colin Salmon, and Jacqueline Byers. It looks terrifying. I, I I don't think I'm going to be able to get April to go see that one. So. No, it's really terrifying. Uh, our daughter was all the way down in the seat, almost in the floor. The devil made me do it. And it was just a preview. All right, go ahead. Okay, so Emily the Criminal. I give this movie four and a half stars, April. How about you? I'm going to do the same. I absolutely, this movie, I, I'm i the one that kind of drug everyone to this movie because I had a feeling. I'm so glad I did. This movie was so well done. So I said Vengeance a couple episodes back was the best movie of 2022. I, Emily the Criminal is yeah. right up there with Vengeance. Yeah. This is another really good movie. Guys, it'll pull you in from the moment it starts and the ending. Wow. It's a, it's a low-budget film. It but, sure but is. But, boy, it, it's a really good film. Um, the right. storyline, this is a down on her luck and saddled with college debt. Emily gets involved in a credit card scam that pulls her into the criminal underworld of Los Angeles, ultimately leading to a deadly consequence. This was... You want to do the director and writer? Absolutely. Uh, it, it's one and the same. John Patton Ford. Uh, he's known for his first feature film. Uh, he did one short film, Patrol. Um, but but he, the, this is his first directing and yeah. writing credit for, for a feature film, which You're is right. just uh, amazing that this film was so good for a first time. Absolutely. So th this had a very small cast. Um, the, the main character, Emily, play, was played by Aubrey Plaza. You got Theo Rossi, Jonathan Avigadori, Kim Yarborough, Gina Gershop, Bernardo Badillo, Wesley Hahn, and Wyatt Barrios. The runtime was perfect, 93 minutes, rated R for language, some violence, and brief drug use. Now, if you've listened to this podcast for, for any amount of time, you know one of the things, and one of my biggest pet peeves in a movie is where the the protagonist does something and it keeps, and then, then does something dumber and dumber and mm -hmm. dumber and, and, and it keeps on spiraling down. Absolutely. I, I hate that kind of movie. And I, when I first sat down to watch this movie, I th thought kind of that's what this movie yeah. was. And, and it was kind of that way. However, it was so well acted. Aubrey Plaza did a phenomenal job in this movie. What was the theme and tone, Tim? What would well, you I, think? <laughs> well, you tell me, April. What was the theme Desperation and rebirth, I guess. Once things go bad, there's no getting out of it. But she somehow was able to turn something horrible <laughs> yeah. into something that worked for her. Right. I'm not saying it's, 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 it's right or wrong. I mean, it... I mean, it is wrong, but you got to see the process and see the movie and the story. 
Well, I, you know, this takes, it's funny because of the timing in this movie, because it takes on a very, very touchy subject that's going on in, in, in America right now, this whole thing with college debt. And this movie is, it, it, the, the whole premise behind this is this girl went to school, she, she got saddled with debt, and then she also got a conviction, she, she got mm-hmm. arrested and, and got something on her record that kept her from being able to get a good right. job, Absolutely. so she couldn't pay off her college she, debt. She, she w- felt very, very stuck in, in her life. Certainly, I'm not advocating a, a life of crime, honey, um, but this, <laughs> I mean, I need to say that. Of course, I don't believe in that, but the movie, you, you got, it's so well acted by Aubrey you, you ha- she shines uh, Theo Rossi um, th- their chemistry the relationships but seeing someone really struggle I, I mean it makes you you're, you're going to have a lot more empathy uh, for for all all people after seeing this movie but but I think it's like I said it's one of, I think it's one of those movies where you get into a situation that you can't get out of you, mm-hmm. you end up having to find a way out absolutely um, what do you think of the direction I, I thought it was very well directed for a first timer yeah this he, he's amazing. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to to whatever he's got next in in his his project list, and I'm sure this movie is going to get him more work as a director and writer. Right. I did not notice the score. This is something you pointed out pretty pretty quickly right after. I did not. Yeah, but I once again, I always feel that if you don't really notice the score, maybe the score did the right thing that it adds to the movie, but you don't notice it. Right. When the, when the score becomes right. its own character in the movie, that's when I have a problem with the score. Right. Uh, it, it definitely. Now, you guys, this is a, a, a look in and, and a, a kind of a peek into crime, though. I mean, I just, you know, it's you do learn a lot. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, cinematography. I, I like what you said about this. Well, this this is where where you see that this is a low budget film. I mean, this wasn't a beautiful movie as far as you know the scenery and the in in the production value and everything. But it was more of a story about a person. It was a character study and a character right. look at this life of okay. what, what she did. Special effects, yeah. I mean, there was one car chase and a, and a fight in the movie, but there right. wasn't a lot of special effects. I thought the editing went really well. Now, the pace, okay, sure, it, it had to move a little slow at times, but boy, a buildup, um, it, it just built up. I thought it was great. I thought yeah, everything it, was it, well done. It was a slow buildup, but but it was like that snowball. Once it got rolling right. downhill, it, okay. it, it picked up. All righty, dialogue. It was really good. Um, Love the interview scene for an internship. Oh, my God. Just hilarious. Right. Hilarious. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. And, and, and it's funny because because I think her character, Emily's character, says a lot of things that a lot of people want to say. Yeah, Yes, it's almost like she her filter is limited, but it's hilarious. Yeah. It is. And, right. and, and the story arc, I, I felt that the story arc in this movie was, for a movie that, that spirals downward, I thought the story arc was very um, satisfying. Yes, and and I I think absolutely you, you get a great story arc for the character of Emily. There's yeah. there's a lot of growth and change from the start of the movie to the end of the movie. All right, let's talk about our visit to Astoria, Oregon. Well, we went there specifically to see the Oregon Museum of Film, and it's it's in the uh, it's housed in the Catsup County Jail, the old Catsup County Jail in Astoria, Oregon, which I believe the jail was also featured in the movie Goonies. Yes, and and, and the museum was interesting. It's rather small, and it seemed to me it was more dedicated to the movie of Goonies than all the movies in Oregon, because there's been actually a lot of movies filmed in Oregon. Oh, definitely. And the most yeah. classic, of course, is Animal House. And a lot of people don't know that it was filmed at Oregon State. Right. Right, so, right. But they, they have, uh, you get to our see... Our University of Oregon, I think. Yeah, you get to see little, little um, things, but what people there seem to be enjoying is a chance to record. They offer you a, a, a small little window to record yourself, right? Yeah. And so if you ever, if you ever make it out to Astoria, Oregon, I highly think you should go. It's a, it's a ch- very cheap, it's not expensive at all to go to the museum. Yeah. And it's at uh, 732 Dwayne Street in Astoria, Oregon. And I have to throw this in. Many of you know, Tim and I devoted to travel and, and movie theaters 
everywhere. We everywhere we've ever been, whether it's Hawaii, Mexico, wherever we are, whatever state, we we go to a movie there. Um, and we also love to eat, of course. Um, but I have to tell you, the best there is a fish and chips place called Ship Out, uh, right in Astoria. The best fried fish I have ever had. And believe me, we've had it all over. You have to eat there. Shout out uh, to the owner. We got to meet her. Loved. I love the whole, just not just the food, but the setting. It was just perfect. Yeah, great fish and chips. And you have your choice between cod and halibut. So. Oh, you was so good at the homemade oh, and, tartar and the, sauce. In, in the homemade tartar sauce. And also I had a great seafood chowder, too. Yes, you did. So, All right. So y'all get... Ordered get, way too much food. Yes, we did. Uh, uh, yes. But y'all get to Astoria, Oregon. What a treat. Well, we've, so this was Emily the Criminal. Both April and I give this four and a half stars. Arguably one of the best movies so far of 2022. Please see it. And let's, 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 now that we, movies are back and the world is trying to get back to normalcy, get to the movies. Let's really support, you know, all these actors and directors and writers and creators and movie theater owners. Please, let's, let's keep it going. All right. Thank you for all your support and uh, stay healthy, stay happy. See you at the movies. See you at the movies. <laughs>